Let's talk about the power formula. So rather than Ohm's law, we have a power formula which talks about power transfer. So from one kind of energy to another kind of energy. In electrical circuits, this is represented by pi. I always remember pi, yummy. P over I times E. So we have these three different formulas. If we're trying to solve for P, we just have I times E. If we're trying to solve for I, we have P over E. Or if we're trying to solve for E, we have P over I. So say we know our voltage and we know we have a 100 watt light bulb, 120 volt circuit. What is our current? Well, we look over here, if we're solving for current, we just have P over E. So that much current is gonna flow through this light bulb on a 120 volt circuit. Now say we're trying to solve for power. We're trying to see how much wattage is gonna be transferred if we have a 50 volt power supply and we know 10 amps of current's flowing through. So P equals I times E. Our I is 10 amps, our E is 50. So we have 500 watts of energy being transferred when we apply 50 volts across that resistor.